everyone! Today I'd like to share with you my recipe to make Japanese fruit roll cake. The cake that is famous for its light, tender, soft, and moist texture, and particularly easy to roll. The first thing that we need to do is to prepare our baking pan. Put a large sheet of parchment paper into the pan and use your fingers to mark the edges of the bottom of the pan. When we have marked all of the edges, make a small cut at the corners of the paper. This helps the parchment paper line in the pan more easily. Next, grease the pan with a small piece of butter. This helps the paper stick better to the pan. And finally, line the pan with the parchment paper. For the cake, we first need to separate the yolks and the whites of the four eggs and we put them into two different bowls. Then, in the bowl of the yolks, sift in 20 gram sugar and whisk until the sugar has dissolved. Next, add into this bowl 40 ml milk, 40 gram oil and half a teaspoon of vanilla. Whisk until we have a very nice and smooth mixture. Sift into this bowl 30 gram flour and 30 gram cornstarch. Mix very well until everything is incorporated and we have a very fine and smooth mixture. The next step is to whip the egg whites, but before whipping the egg whites, preheat your oven to 170 degrees Celsius. First, whip the egg whites with a little salt at the lowest speed for 1 or 2 minutes. Stop the mixer when you see many large bubbles appear in the bowl. Um, then add cream of tartar or substitutes and continue to beat until the bubbles become much smaller and very foamy, like in the video. Start to add sugar little at a time. This gives time for the sugar to be totally absorbed into the egg whites. When all of the sugar has gone, raise the speed to highest and continue beating for 3 to 4 minutes. As we beat, we will see that the volume of the egg whites becomes bigger and also looks glossier. When the egg white reaches soft peak, as in the video, reduce the speed to medium and continue to beat until the egg white reaches stiff peak. First, we take about one third of the beaten egg white and gently mix it with the egg yolk mixture. This helps loosen the yolk mixture and makes it easier for us to fold in the remaining egg white. Take another portion of egg white, put it into the yolk mixture and gently fold in. Note that we don't squeak here but fold and do the fold in a very gentle way. The reason is that if we whisk or fold the egg white too hard, we might deflate the white and lose the air in the egg white. As a consequence, our cake may not be able to rise properly in the oven, so we definitely don't want to do that. Um, continue with the rest of the egg white, and if you fold everything correctly, the final batter should be slightly foamy uh, without any large bubbles like in the video. Pour the batter into the baking pan and use an offset spatula to smooth it out. Tap the pan onto the counter several times to break the large bubbles in the batter. We know that the cake is ready when you press your finger lightly on the cake and it springs back like, like this. Take the cake out of the pan and slightly pull the parchment paper away from its edges. Lay a clean towel on the cake and use a rag to flip it over. And remove the parchment paper from the cake. 
Let the cake cool down completely at room temperature. When the cake is totally cool, cut off the edges. Then flip the cake over so that the brown side is up. Spread the generous amount of cream onto this brown side of the cake, but uh, leave about 2 cm from the bottom edge of the cake. Then lay the fruits on the cream. Gently roll the cake over. If you are not familiar with rolling these cakes, you may want to use aluminum foil as I do here. Aluminum foil is quite hard so it's pretty easy to shape the roll with it. I feel it's much better than using a towel or using parchment paper. When finished, use cling film to cover and reshape the cake. Put the whole roll cake in the fridge and leave it there for at least 4 hours. The cake tastes much much better after one night staying in the refrigerator. <laughs>